What's up, guys? This is Ty Zen again with PrisonerFreedom.com. It's a blog where we uh, talk about the tools, the techniques, and the strategies and the technologies that's available to help people find freedom in their life. And with us here today is uh, James D'Angelo from the World uh, Bitcoin Network. And uh, we also have here uh, Vitali, okay, with uh, the Ethereum uh, project. And um, these are some of the guys that's in the forefront of helping people find freedom, you know, uh, when it comes to the currency uh, world, okay? Uh, uh, how old are you by time? Uh, I just turned 20 a month ago. Okay, Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, good job. Hey, is it Vitalik or is it v Vitalik? Or uh, uh, Vitalik. Vitalik? Yeah. Vitalik. Okay, and the uh, last name, Buterin. Buterin. Yeah. Buterin. Okay, since you brought up the miners, right? is there mining inside yes. Ethereum? Yes. Is it similar to what the mining is mm -hmm. in um, in uh, Bitcoin? Yes, yeah. so what we're looking at from... So originally we wanted to have some kind of mining algorithm that's... Um, that helps uh, fight against centralization. So originally we were looking at memory hard ideas like Dagger. So with Dagger, I came up with an algorithm that's uh, like 200 times more memory hard than script is and it accomplishes that without actually, while simultaneously actually being easy, slightly easier to verify than script. But so then, what, what is the purpose? Is that so that you have a decentralized mining Yeah, so the process network? of that is to make it more difficult to create ASICs for it. So as it turns out, Dagger is has some is, is is great mathematically, but it's not all that great when you have GPUs with sh with shared memory. So from there, we moved on to uh, different proof of stake ideas. Our most our latest idea is actually interesting. It's uh, a proof of work based on executing random tra random transactions on random data from the blockchain. So the point of that is that you actually have, to, in order to be a miner, you would actually have to store the entire blockchain and you have to have a, func a functioning Ethereum scripting engine. So from that, you basically remove a lot of centralization because right now, the Bitcoin's mining system is heavily centralized because you have Bitcoin miners that are just grabbing block headers from like uh, ghash.io and they're just mining on them without even thinking about what they're mining. So ghash.io has a lot of control over the whole system. So here, that's not really possible. If you want to mine, you basically have, there's no real benefit to, mine, to mining in that pool that's mining correct. sort of setup. That's great. Okay. Yeah. And then the other issue is, is that, you know, first of all, it's memory hard. It is going to be harder to make ASICs, but it's not going to be, probably not going to be impossible. But the nice thing is, is that if ASICs exist, then those ASICs are going to simultaneously be ASICs for processing transactions. So that also is going to help actually solve our scalability problem. Okay. Now, um, so doesn't that mean that if you are digging into the blockchain, which miners digging into the blockchain, that you're going to actually have to parse the blockchain much more with a little more air in it right now, the Bitcoin blockchain is so packed. Like I can't get in a, in it on my Bitcoin B and just grab stuff, and that's been a common complaint. Well, you no, you can grab stuff. Like in in the Bitcoin D blockchain, there's if you set the TX index equals one flag, then you can actually query every single any transaction. Are you serious? Yeah. I, I gotta write this down. Okay. <laughs> that just showed he's qualified. I'm trying to read about the protocol. Okay. He's great. He's great. Yeah. So that's right. Hey, you just helped him out, you know. If I say that again, exactly what yeah, I yeah. So. In the in the dot Bitcoin directory in the Bitcoin dot conf, you set the flag TX index equals one, and I can now query every transaction. Yes. God, just rewind just... the video and, well, and watch I, it it's again. Not if you missed that, so lost a lot of time. <laughs> it's a lot of people have been working on parsing. Yeah. I haven't really jumped in yeah. that. That's what from they've been telling me. Martin, so. uh, thanks for you know uh, spending the time with uh, James uh, D'Angelo from the World Bitcoin Network and myself. And uh, we wish you the great, great luck, you know. No, thank you. So, all right. Thanks, Todd, for putting right. it together. All right. <laughs> all, right. all right, guys. Uh, thanks for, for joining us. And um, what I'll do is I'll get um, um, uh, Vitalik's uh, Bitcoin address and leave it at the bottom of the video. And James D'Angelo also. If you guys appreciate their work, I invite you guys to, uh, um, you know, Support them, send donations their way. Leon's I'm sure, as well. and Leon's as well. Our cameraman, <laughs> yeah, you know, and um, um, you know, send them some uh, coffee donations or soda donations. I'm pretty sure you drink a lot of sodas while you're programming. Uh, no, actually, no? coffee, <laughs> um, green tea. Green tea. Okay, there you go. Send some green tea donations to them. <laughs> All right. So thanks for joining us, and I'll see you guys in the next video.